Number one, the first biblical platform that helps men access superior power to demonstrate and validate that Jesus is alive and to be able to be a revelation of his life and power to the nations. The first platform is an encounter with the spirit of power. Please write it down. Ah. Encounter with the spirit of power. Please write it down. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us. Yeah. I want to know you. I want to hear your voice. I want to know you. I want to touch you, I want to see your face, I want to know you I want to know you more, I want to know brought to the foot of the cross in one day in one year this is the dimension God is taking us to want to know hallelujah please hear me if you're a medical personnel here I want you to listen there is an outpouring that is coming on people who are medically related there is a reason why you see, the study of medicine is not an academic issue at all. Please help our medical stand. My God, look what is happening there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Doctor, if the only thing you can give is injection and drugs, you may not do much in this end time. Because there has to be power upon your hands. More than the syringe. There has to be strange manifestation in our hospitals. Resurrections from the dead. Healings. Miracles. That you lay hands and dry away cancer. Lay hands, dry away all kinds of demonic things. Hear me. If you are called into the medical field, I am telling you, there is an anointing, an end time anointing that is looking for you. Medical doctors, lab attendants, all kinds of people, nurses, midwives. That a woman is about to lose her baby and you are on duty. You will just stop that lab coat and carry your priestly regalia in the name of Jesus. I command supernatural delivery. An encounter. Please sit down if you can. With the spirit of power Micah chapter 3 and verse 8 but truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord it is the Holy Spirit that empowers men please look up respectfully speaking bottles don't anoint water does not anoint handkerchiefs and mantles don't anoint until an anointed person anoints them to be a point of contact so idolizing a bottle a handkerchief an apron a, a, you can have 30 bottles of oil in your house it will not produce anything until an anointed man anoints it as a medium if we, if it is done within the boundary of scripture we keep making a fool of ourselves placing our faith in mediums and look, looking away from the spirit of God 
It says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me. If your anointing is without the presence of the spirit, something is wrong with that impartation. The Holy Spirit is the exclusive custodian of the power of God. The administration of spiritual power resides within the office of the Holy Spirit. When there was creation to be done in Genesis 1, he was the first of the Godhead to be revealed. Is someone learning? 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 an encounter with the spirit of power there is a dimension of the revelation of the holy spirit called the spirit of power it says for god had not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love these are all dimensions of the same holy spirit you can encounter the spirit of wisdom but have you encountered the spirit of power how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you how shall nations be saved 2.6 billion compared to 8 billion people and growing let me tell you the truth at the rate at which we are going even if another thousand years is added will not be able to cover the globe but when the power of the holy spirit comes into that equation believe me when i tell you nations will be saved in one day because god will create spectacular events that will bring nations to their knees one miracle in gadara brought 10 cities to jesus 10 10 cities one woman at the well brought so many people to Jesus. An encounter with the spirit of power. The Holy Spirit can reveal himself as the spirit of power. But listen to me. There are two conditions to have an encounter with this dimension of the spirit's power. Listen carefully. Number one, I have taught you you want encounters encounters are sponsored by the genuineness of your heart condition please write it under point one forget about genuine spiritual encounters when your heart is not right with god the heart condition we are not talking of perfection we are talking of sincerity and hunger jeremiah 17 and verse 10 a few scriptures very quickly jeremiah 17 and verse 10 17 10 i the lord search the heart i try the reins to give every man according to his ways not according to his desire according to his ways when you seek the lord with your heart then you will find him jeremiah 29 13 29 13 same jeremiah the heart condition the first puzzle that must be solved if you desire an encounter with the spirit of God even the spirit of power you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart you can search for me with your mind you can search for me with your ego but it is when you search for me with all your heart Lord it is either you or nothing I love the song that the worship team sang it is either you or nothing Jeremiah 27 and verse 5 it says I have made the earth the man and the beast that are upon the ground by my great power and my outstretched arm it says and I have given it to whom it seemed meet unto me the same power that I used to make the earth and heavens I give it to whom it seemed good to me that means I fed people I can't trust someone with something so precious there is something about your heart your heart for God Lord I'm available I'm available The heart 
condition is the first requirement you want to encounter the spirit of power you must trust God to check your heart and vet the sincerity of your motives listen carefully the sincerity of your motive I want power because I want a name forget it not this end time God is too serious for that kind of joke I want power because I want to also be a mm -mm. Whoever you want to heal, Lord, you can heal through me. Whoever you want to bless, Lord, you can bless through me. That's the kind of heart as the deer pants after the water brooks. Lord, it is you or nothing else. Ah, it is you or nothing else. Thank God for money. Thank God for fame. It is you or nothing else. And God says, you are doing this for me. You are ready to experience power like never before. Please hear me. Let me speak especially those of us who are in ministry. You've heard me preach many messages about the heart. Believe me, I have read my Bible a bit and I have walked with God a bit. The greatest second to none determinant of the dealings of God with men as far as the investment of power and being used as a witness is not his love because the same Lord is rich unto all but what distinguishes men into spiritual cadres is number one the state of your heart you can be so qualified like Eliab and God will reject you looking for a smelly shepherd because he has seen your heart it was David who wrote his sin and offense and said they should read it as a song. He was not even embarrassed about it. That is a kind of heart condition. And God said, you are a man after my heart. Number two. The second dimension, if you want to encounter the spirit of power, I'm still on point one. Maybe that can be 1A now, and this is 1B. 